so I went ahead and finished uh, the triathlon. It wasn't as bad as I thought. It's actually 57 degrees right now, and I'm actually shocked at that because it felt it feels warmer. Because once you get going, uh, it's not that bad. Now uh, the only thing I want to make sure is I don't have a cold, so I'm gonna make sure I eat healthy the rest of the day. Eat plenty of uh, whole foods and, and definitely include some garlic in, in some of those meals. But uh, overall, though, uh, you know, I placed like what 156 out of 190 something people, men, I guess, men's group. I guess not that good, but honestly, uh, <laughs> try a triathlon. Uh, it's just crazy how intense a lot of triathletes are. A lot of they had, the guy who won the triathlon was a 19 year old. He averaged 24.3 on a bike, and if you would have experienced the headwind that I had to go through coming back, I don't know how in the world he averaged. He had to have been going close to 28, or or he's a winder, which a lot of uh, cyclists tend to be. I call them winders. Basically, what that means is someone who's really good at going into the headwind. Um, I think it's all predicated, a lot of it's predicated on muscle fiber composition. I'm more of a sprinter, so for me, to, when, I, when the wind hits me, um, that lactic acid just builds up in those muscles, particularly in those fast twitch muscles, and I just fatigue out. Whereas someone else, uh, I don't know, they, they, they just have a high strength endurance capacity, whereas I have um, a high power capacity is a difference you can't maintain that pace but I did average 17.2 uh, all the way I'm very happy about that my swim was pretty good uh, the water was actually not bad it was 74 degrees pretty warm actually the water felt warmer than standing outside but uh, anyway here's 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 the bib it's a nice bib and uh, so it's done you know, this this bad boy is done, so I'm uh, going to head home, and uh, like I said, you know, uh, the biggest thing is uh, the adrenaline's probably still going, but I will make sure that I load up on those antioxidants, high ORAC foods. Um, I do not want to get a cold or get run down, that's for sure. Uh, a lot of people forget about that fact, but not me. I don't like it, so I'm going to work to not let it happen. Uh, and overall, I felt pretty good. So, you know, the run, I'm not crazy about that. I, there, there was a great uh, chiropractic, actually, he's a, a muscle activation specialist. Uh, learned some stuff from him, and I'm always skeptical, but he was very impressive. He pretty much fi figured out my imbalances, and, uh, you know, I'm not big on the run just because I can run fast, but I'm a pronator, and that's because I have. That's because I have flat feet. And my IT bands are real tight. Uh, so I, I just, you know, I just don't have the body, the, the mechanics. Some people are born runners. Others, you know, you just got to be smart. And, and you got to like, and you got to be do it in moderation. And that's what I do. Uh, I don't run that much. It's a great activity, but, you know, it's just an impact. And if your frame is not in uh, ideal alignment, I mean... There's going to be all sorts of imbalances, compensations. So, uh, but overall, I feel good. You know, he, he helped, and uh, I got some new ideas as far as exercises I can do to try and correct those imbalances. Um, so, that's it. So it, it was a, it was a good. I'm glad I did it. Definitely glad I did the, did this race. So, uh, there should be some good pictures too. There are photographer out there on the course. So, anyway, that's what's up, and. Uh, that's it.